After you've powered off the phone, you'll want to remove the SIM card tray before attempting to open it. You can then begin to pry it open by sliding an opening tool in between the bezel of the midframe and the back housing. The back housing has clips that run along the top and the sides that will need to be unfastened. Once the clips are all off, the backing can begin to be peeled off starting at the top and working your way down to the bottom. Using a small amount of heat to loosen the adhesive between the back housing and the wireless charging pad can help ease it off the phone, but it isn't necessary. Once the housing is off, you can remove the four T5 Torx screws that anchor the main speaker assembly onto the phone. Once all the screws are out, there will be two clips on either side of the assembly and one at the top that you'll likely have to pry up to get the unit off. Then moving down to the charge port, remove the four total T5 Torx screws that anchor the spacer to the bottom of the phone. The spacer then slides out in a downward motion. Now the tape that aids in holding the spacer for the battery can be removed and the spacer can be removed itself. Before proceeding any further with the repair, the battery should be unplugged. The board can then be removed from the display assembly by carefully lifting on the left side until you see the clip for the display. The clip can be lifted and the flex can be removed to make the repair easier. To remove the wireless charging pad, carefully pry underneath it to loosen the adhesive. Then flip the board over again and unclip it. To begin removing the battery itself, you'll first have to heat up the adhesive beneath it. Listed on the screen now are a few known ways to safely heat up the phone. Once it's been adequately heated, you'll want to take a plastic tool and wedge it in between the board and the battery. Then carefully move the tool down both sides of the battery to release the adhesive. You'll then want to safely clean the board with isopropyl alcohol to remove any remaining adhesive from it, though you'll want to generally stay away from the exposed flex cables. After the board has been cleaned and dried, the new adhesive can be applied. The battery can now be fully adhered onto the board. The wireless charging pad can be clipped back in and re-adhered to the battery as well. The adhesive on the charging pad should still be fine, so there isn't a need to replace it. Next, the flex for the display assembly can be slid back into the butterfly clip, and the board can be laid back into the midframe. Once the board is sitting flush into the midframe, the housing for the loudspeaker can be laid back in, and the four screws that were taken out earlier can be replaced. At this point, you can clip the battery back in, replace the spacer for it, and re-adhere the two pieces of tape that help hold it in.
Then the spacer for the bottom of the phone can be slid back onto the charge port and the four screws for it can be replaced. The back housing can be reattached by inserting the bottom of the phone in it first, and then reclipping the sides of it to the phone. Finally, the SIM card and tray can be replaced, finishing the repair.